Welcome back to this guy's garage. Today we're talking about Technical Service Bolton 2365 and what it means for you. And we're going to do a deep dive. We're going to compare the dipstick that was changed out up close and personal. And now might be a great time to hit that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss what's coming up next on this guy's garage. guys garage like and subscribe I invited my neighbor over to have a look at his uh, dipstick to do a more up-close comparison uh, you might have seen in a previous video where uh, we had done uh, a length measurement and the new dipstick was a half inch longer than the old dipstick that was done about two weeks ago they changed the oil in his truck so I had him come over this morning and we're gonna check his oil and uh, when I checked the oil on his dipstick his dipstick was down maybe a quarter of an inch on the dipstick and so I proceeded to check the oil with this dipstick and it was right on the money so I invited my neighbor Ken over and uh, we're gonna do a little more digging on the differences between the oil stick we're gonna do a side-by-side -side compar comparison up close of uh, the differences between the two oil sticks Here he comes now. Let's see how much he's down on this stick, and then we'll stick my stick in it and see how much oil it's actually down. I'd say she's down a liter right now. Mm -hmm. Look on that side. Okay, we'll just do a second pop in just to check. Yeah, she's down. A quarter of an inch, maybe? Or? Yeah, let's have a look. So, we're going to check the oil with my dipstick. Get a more accurate reading of how much it's actually down. Because this one's marked for a quart. So, it's down on your dipstick, but the difference between the dipsticks. So what this is showing right now, she's right at the top ad line, right? So that had me thinking, what's going on here? What are, what's Ford really trying to hide? Because So I went back and had a look at the technical service bulletin, 2365, and I noticed that it said, change the dipstick, go through all the other procedures that were, were in the other technical service bulletins, and add oil as necessary. Well, that add oil as necessary so that kind of got me thinking if his dipstick is down a, qu a quarter of an inch already and I put this one in and it's right on the money from what it left with the factory with for nine quarts that's what every Ford F-150 left the factory with nine quarts oil so they need a lot of oil in them to keep them running so when you get your oil changed when they check my dipstick this is my dipstick holes here so when the truck had the dipstick put in they measured the oil and they left it a, a liter shy so this dipstick is measured to know when you use a liter of oil so what I'm proposed to my neighbor was let's do an oil consumption test on your truck because they said they fixed the problem with with the flash on the computer so let's let's see if they really fix the problem or are they just hiding the problem yep so let's mark the mileage and we'll do a start not oil consumption test okay so we'll check it once a week mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see how much oil you, you lose it over the course of because uh, according to the technical service bulletin that was done if it loses a quart of oil originally it was supposed to have an engine replaced after 3,000 miles if it went through a quart of oil between 3,000 miles so hopefully 
We're okay. We're okay. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe hope, we're hoping they fixed it. Yes. <laughs> I doubt it. But, but I doubt it. I, you know, <laughs> this is this is just a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. So the only way, if it's using oil, it's got to stop from using oil, is to shut it off. Yeah. Because it'll always use oil. Yeah. So it's. I'm not recording you very well. Yeah, uh, that's all right. <laughs> so let's uh, check the mileage. See what the mileage is. So the oil was just changed in this, so... Yeah, just in the last... Uh, one ticket. Now mine went down slow the first couple of weeks. So there's 19... 19,505. 19,505. So we'll check it once a week. And its schedule will be changed again. I don't know if you can see it there. 27,687. Perfect. All right. So let's get some uh, close-up pictures of... So here's an up-close side-by-side -side comparison of what widen the range actually means. You can see on the new dipstick right here how much further down they put the oil hole. So this is this from the factory is supposed to represent one liter of oil. If I had a guess that much widen, widening on the range, mm -hmm. that's two and a half to three liters of oil if you were down that far. Yep. So how would you hide the problem? When I noticed the dipstick was only a half inch longer and you know half inch longer is still a liter of oil so they're saying that it's acceptable for this truck to use 1.9 liters now instead of two liters in the scope of 3,000 kilometers 3,000 miles or how many kilometers I'll, I'll double check on that when you check the dipstick his dipstick is down down on his stick mine's accurate so what this tells me is Add no oil is necessary. So, when you had your oil changed previously, and you're at the top mark, let's use this as a guide stick. So they filled your truck up with oil. Comes up to the mark here. You're all good, Bob's your uncle. You had your oil changed, it's full oil. This oil, the way the trucks are going through oil, they're going through oil too fast and too noticeable. So what they did was they raised the top mark, they lowered the bottom mark, so now they widen the range. So they're, they're saying this is two liters. If, if it was measured, I would say it's closer to three liters. And the only way to really find out how far down it is, you'd have to take the oil out of it, fill it up to the bottom line, then find out how much oil it takes to bring it up to bring the top up. line. Yeah. So if uh, you're having this problem, you might want to find out how much, how widened the range is because, uh, you know, that it's going to take a lot of oil to fill up that volume of space. Yeah. And uh, just don't uh, take it uh, for granted that they fixed the problem. If it's if it's going down on oil when you're checking your stick, mm -hmm. ask for an oil consumption test to be done. So that will be my guess, and I might get around to doing that test. So by adding more oil, so if they put 10 liters of oil in it, The way the volume works is because now the oil is coming up over this lip on your oil pan. It doesn't look like there's that much more oil being, being put in it, but they're actually putting 10 quarts of oil to try to try and hide the oil consumption. So now that they have a longer dipstick, when you're checking your oil, it doesn't seem like the dipstick is moving down that that far. Now I, I did a piss poor job making them lines, but you get the point. In the technical service bulletin, widen the range means it's acceptable now to use two liters of oil on that three thousand miles. Now that uh We've checked the oil 
and we got an oil level check. We're going to do an oil consumption test on my neighbor Ken's truck. So we're going to do one here on this truck over the next four or five weeks. Hmm. Truck's relatively new. I can't see it using oil the way mine was. I had to place the kilometers on it, but yours is, yours is worse than it should be for a truck with 19,000 kilometers on it, which yeah. is 19,000 kilometers with 12,000 miles. That's yeah. nothing. He had the flash update done, and as well, he had the dipstick change. So now that we have an accurate measurement, we have a tool that measures how long it takes to go down a liter oil. We're going to check that every week. So hit that subscribe button, come back next week, and uh, we'll fill you, in, fill you in on the details. We're not going to let Ford get away with this, so share this information. It's important to share this information. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what problems you're having with your F-150 with the 5 liter. So thanks again for stopping by this guy's garage. Take the time, leave a comment, subscribe. You can watch another video here on the topic, or right here, and uh, hit that subscribe button. Don't be cheap. Leave a like. This guy 